Hi guys, I'm Adi. Today I'll show you how to make a simple roti bread, flat bread. Roti bread is normally served with the main course, but it's also great on its own. This recipe will give you six rotis or chapati breads. You can make with uh, any flour. You can make with a plain flour, self-rising flour. But I recommend if you're making proper roti, traditional roti bread, I would recommend you use the atta flour. You can buy this from any Asian grocery shop, but we got this one from our local supermarket. For this recipe, you will need two and a half cup of atta flour, some water, some oil, one teaspoon of salt, and some extra flour. That's very important. First, add your flour and salt and mix them together. Then add about half a cup of warm water. The amount of water you will use change every time you make your dough. It depends on your flour and the weather. I'm adding about 100 ml more water. You will need to judge how much more water you need by the feel of your dough. Make sure you don't add too much. You can always add more if you need to. Now start kneading. Continue to knead for 3 to 4 minutes. My dough is little too soft and sticky, so I'm adding a bit more flour and kneading again. Add 1 teaspoon oil to the dough and knead again for 2 minutes. Once the flour, water and oil have mixed through well and the dough is not sticking to your hands, and you can't see any dry flour, mold it into a bowl shape. Put a little oil around your dough bowl and now it's time to rest your dough. Keep it covered in a warm place for 30 minutes or more. After 30 minutes, my dough has risen a little and it's also nice and stretchable. I'm rolling the dough into a sausage, using a little flour so it doesn't stick to me or my surface. I'm portioning for 6 rotis. Roll your portion into little balls, coating the outside with a little flour. Now it's time to roll your roti. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to roll into a round shape. Even if you make a map of Australia, I promise it will taste the same. So don't be scared of this. Just use a little flour on both sides, pressing it out with your fingertips. Stretch it using a roller pin, changing the side and adding a pinch of flour each time. The next step is to make sure there is no flour dust on your roti, otherwise it will burn. You can use your hand, a brush, or if you're confident, you can do it by tossing in your hands. To cook my roti, I'm using a tawa on a medium heat, but any flat fry pan or skillet will do. Make sure your roti is as flat as possible on the surface and check it occasionally. After a minute or so, some bubbles will start to form, It means the other side is ready. Keep an eye on the other side. After another minute or so, the other side will be cooked. You can add some oil or ghee during the cooking process for some extra yummy roti. That's it guys. Our roti bread is ready. Let me know if you try your own roti bread. It's very simple, very cheap and very tasty. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.